Hi Chris here and welcome to my Q by 9 video on my minor thermal, thermal mod here that will actually improve temperatures by approximately 23 degrees, which is massive. And it's a very basic mod, very simple, nothing special, doesn't look pretty at all, as you can see. I've pulled this heatsink off, it would have stayed on there, but I've pulled it off because I needed access to the EP-ROM. Um, I was trying to flash a BIOS to it, which I can't. I have bricked this tablet because I went into one of the menus in the BIOS that said flash update. Now I expected there to be a secondary menu in there and it just went ahead and completely wiped my BIOS. So don't mess with the BIOS. Anyway, so what my mod consists of is a a copper shim. So a small piece of copper. Now the dimensions of this that I used is 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. Now I used a, a, a thermal adhesive, nothing flash, pasted it on that side, didn't want it to move around. Then I used another bit of a thermal paste there, you can see just a cheap thermal paste this time around on the top there. Um, I went a little bit overboard with the paste as you can see. I just put like a, a rice sized piece of thermal paste on the, the die there, but um, as you can see it was too much. It didn't spill out into any of the surrounding um, circuitry around their components and things, which is good, but it was too much. Anyway, this works just fine. So using that, okay, the, the actual um, uh, diameter, sorry, not the diameter, the width of it is only one millimeter. So it's one millimeter thick, sorry, by 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters is the dimensions of it. So that will fit on there perfectly fine and actually doesn't cause any pressure on the screen and the backing plate. I changed the original thermal pad on the back. You could probably actually just leave that. But I used a um, one millimeter thick thermal pad there on the back. This is a slightly better thermal pad than the stock one that they used. Now, you could probably actually put a huge one over the top here. You could probably make a huge thermal pad like that to give more contact to the back. But I can't show you proof now of the temperature improvements that it did give me, um, but it wasn't bad at all. It, it definitely improved. Maximum temperatures were 88 degrees. With this mod, I saw 87 maximum, so, or 86 I think it was, sorry, 67, what am I saying? I'm, I'm very tired at the moment. Um, 66 to 67 degrees was the maximum temperature instead of about 88. So that's about a 20, we're looking at 22, 21 degree improvement just from this tiny little mod here. So it's something to think about. But unfortunately my unit is dead. I am highly pissed off at my own stupidity of going into that menu, but also annoyed that there wasn't a secondary menu, there's no fail safes, it just went to flash. What I was trying to do was update the BIOS to fix the micro SD card issue. Because uh, I can't use any of my 64 gb micro SD cards. So I found a BIOS on the Cube forums that was newer than my current one, and I had loaded that onto a flash drive that I'd formatted FAT32 that I had right in the USB 3 port there. Um, and I, I assumed that flash menu might already had a flashing system built into them. Some of them do. But anyway, it just wiped the virus, it killed my tablet, and learned from my super expensive mistake that don't go there. But um, the thermal mod does work well, so yeah. Think about doing that, but don't open the tablet if you don't have any experience doing this. But don't go there. And please, uh, this is on you. Okay, if something goes wrong, I'm not responsible for this. Thank you for watching this video. Sorry, I rambled on a little bit there. I'm just tired and very annoyed at uh, bricking this too. Thank you for watching. See you back in the channel with more up and coming on other tablets, but not this QBI9 because this one is dead.